Dustin Morrissey Jr. in the pool. Martin in second. Fontaine in fourth, actually. Hopkins in fourth, third. This is the second race of the chase in the NASCAR International Cup Series live from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, here at Old Spice Speedway. Morrison Jr. gets us underway right out of the final turn is right where they start. Looks like Morrison Jr. is definitely going to get the whole shot here. But who's going to get it? Come, who's going to be second? It looks like it's going to be the 83 of Hopkins. Martin Blake's locked up a little bit, but that doesn't seem to matter so far. Morrison Jr. gets a huge launch, and he has significantly taken himself the lead. While for the most part, the rest of the top 10 is still being figured out. Three wide between Mine, Kronberg, and Roderick. It looks like it is going to be Morrison Jr. who takes lap one. Stevenson will take the third spot. Hopkins onto the outside. That is not where she wants to be. LZD, her former teammate, passes. It looks like it's going to be Rodin who gets onto the inside of Fonte. No, he's going to wait it out. Stevenson is in third. Martin in second. Morrison Jr. in first. And we have DJ Zeus, who was last in the standings, who currently crashed out. Lamarty also seemed to have crashed out as well. Looks like the 22, the 12, and looks like the 95 of Science also got messed up a little bit. Here's what happened here back in lap one. You can see that. Looks like it's there. Yep, DJ Zeus gets into Science. That is a brutal hit from the 95. That is one of the most brutal hits on the season, and on a slow-paced road course if that, that's going to definitely take the 95 out, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be happy with Bolio Brown. And here is the view again from the inside of Sainz's car. He will be all right, but that is, considering how close he was to getting into the top 10 as well, that's just adding salt to the wounds. Lot by now, Morrison Jr. has the clear lead. And now we have two teammates between Fontaine and Martin racing side by side. LGD in third, which is not surprising considering his caliber of road course success. Stevenson in fourth, Rodin in fifth. And then you would have to go all the way to Mine to find a driver who is in tenth. As the first car who is not in the chase to be involved. There should be one other car. Who is that? It's the 39 of Rossi who has fallen back a significant amount of position. Let's get back up front here. Looks like Martin and Fontaine are racing side by side. Coming down the back, Fontaine goes to block. And that's going to mess up Martin. He spins around, but it looks like he's going to be fine. He spins around, every other driver gets past him, but he's still able to carry on at least for now. Looks like he got too aggressive trying to go into Fontaine or Fontaine trying to pull off a block. I, I, that's just something that those two teammates are going to have to figure out at the end of the race. But at the moment, but at the moment, Martin is knocked out of there and nobody's going to like that more than Morrison Jr. and LGD. On to lap 9 now, and it has been, and Martin also got a broken gearbox. I don't know if that's from the damage he got to Fontaine or for some other reason, but he has put himself out of the race as well. Just like how Kronberg and Ross finished dead last before, Martin is going to finish 33rd, which isn't as bad, but it's still very, very hurtful when these last 10 races are all about consistency. Morrison Jr. will most likely be the first one to come out of the pits, or come into the pit, should I say. It looks like he's going to stay out until the next lap. You can see Martin is right there. He's going to try to come in for some damage, for some damage control. But in reality, there's really nothing else he can do. Let's get back to the action up front, or lack of action up front, because it is all Dustin Morrissey Jr. He has a three-second lead over Luis Fontaine. Kyle Lamarty has pitted again. He was having some problems at the start of the race. So he is currently, he'll be in the 32nd spot. Hop, there's Stevenson in third. Hopkins in fourth. No significant battles going on at the moment. They're all just content with staying single file. Actually, never mind. Topis Brown is trying to make a move on Kronberg. In the lap where all of the cars are going to be going into the pits as well, it seems. And here we go. 
Morrissey Jr. is into his pit stall. He most likely would be the first one out as well. Looks like Topiece Brown has actually stayed out. He's going to be... That could work in his favor because once all the cars are pit, he'll have more room to pit faster. Not have to worry about traffic. Here's Martin coming out, but he's been told to just take one more lap and then just come right back in. Meanwhile, here's Morrissey Jr. into his pit stall. He's most likely going to be the first one out. If we can find the 10 again, there he is. Getting his next set of tires, and he's definitely going to be the first one out of there. First one in, first one to get all tire change, or first one out, followed by Hopkins. Stevenson, could Stevenson beat Fontaine? Hopkins actually does. Hopkins has to get some damage repaired. And that's going to significantly hurt Hopkins as well. She's out of there, but not before every other, well, eight of the 10 chase drivers getting done already. Four laps to go here for Dustin Morrison Jr. And there is nobody who's realistically even close. Luis Fontaine is two seconds behind. But we have a very good battle here for third. LGD is being followed by Boyd Roden. Boyd, your last week's last races winner. Followed by Roden, Stevenson, Roderick, and Huckleberry. Vini are not far behind. The last car in the top ten is the 96 of Carberg. You can see the three wide right behind him. Oh, the 77, he bumped and run the 71. A good move from Roden. But it's not over yet. It looks like Boyd did get better acceleration out of there. It actually looks like I'm gonna have to take that back because Boyd actually get the better of that, especially how Roden just hit the inside wall. He's gonna have some damage as well. But actually, I stand corrected. Luis Fontaine has gotten closer. He has closed the gap to less than a second. Dustin Morrissey Jr. does have some damage to the side of his car. And Luis Fontaine, despite being grabbed into by Martin, has basically no damage. Aerodynamic-wise, this can be very, very helpful. Fontaine was way faster there. The 22 is the one with the fastest lap, so it looks like none of the chase drivers are going to get that bonus. Morrison Jr. has already sealed the five bonus points for the most lap led. But who is going to get the win here? It's going to be very interesting. Let's see what happens in these last two laps here at Sturgeon Bay. And Fontaine is there. Can he pull off the pass on Justin Morrison Jr.? The 16 versus the 10. Here we go. Coming into the first breaking zone. Fontaine just waits to make his move. He knows he is faster. He has two lanes to figure it out. Going into the first heavy braking zone. It's still Morrison Jr. and Fontaine. The 22 of Torrance is a lap car. Here we go. Fontaine can make the move coming into the inside. Going into the baking. Fontaine is in. Fontaine is clear. We have a new leader. The 16 of Luis Fontaine. With just over one lap to go. It looks like if Morrison Jr., unless he makes a good comeback, one big best group driver is going to win the first race, and the second is going to win the second. Morrissey Jr. now has, look at this, you can see the the 80 and Topiz Brown's a lap car, but LGD's in third, Stevenson's in sixth, and we have a very good battle for fifth here. You can see that Ronan has fallen back a bunch of positions in the roster spot. Ross has spun out on the final lap, and that's just going to hurt her chances even more. Martin and Ross both have been pretty forgettable days here at Old Spice Speedway. But let's get back to our main runner, the 16 Cryon Revolution Gulawa, comes into the second to last turn. Using that aerodynamic advantage, taking advantage of no damage taken, he comes out of the last turn, and Luis Fontaine is going to win here at Sturgeon Bay. Morrison Jr. at second, LGD in third, Stevenson in fourth, and the last car in the top five looks like will be JT Boyd. Hopkins, Ross, and Martin did not get the results they wanted, but drivers like LGD who's been the most consistent so far, and Luis Fontaine cannot complain.